गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर नेक्स्ट लर्निंग सेशन अबाउट 35 फाइव ईयर्स बैक आई सा ए पेशेंट विद एपेक्यूलियर प्रॉब्लम ही कंप्लेंट दैट वेन ही इज सिटिंग इन हिज चेयर एंड ही इज टू क्लोज द डोर which is not fully closed but his hand does not reach the door he picks up a book and with the book he tries to give a push to the door to close and with that jerk he feels excruciating pain in his right arm upper arm right upper arm mind it it was and it this pain was excruciating so severe that he could not tolerate he took some analgesics and anti inflammatory drugs but this pain continued and he said that he has been suffering from this pain for last about one and a half years but he was not able to make a diagnosis of it then while testing his shoulder joint i found that his movements of flexion and lateral rotation and overhead abduction they are not uh, free they are restricted at some point they are restricted so i suggested him to do certain exercises the simplest was to rotate rotate the arm at 360 degrees just close to the body keeping it close to the body uh, i will try to mimic for you if it is possible to see here because of small screen see how we do it this is the and hand has to go in front of it like this like this rotate it and 10 times and three times in a day and his in three days his pain disappeared his problem solved but since that time he is in touch with me he is continuing that uh, exercises not three times a day but at least once daily he does these exercises what is this friends this is what is called peri arthritis of the shoulder or frozen shoulder or capsulitis of the shoulder in another case that was quite recently a lady in her 70s was having similar type of problem she was not sure about and uh, knowing about the condition she said that she can calm the hair but some of the movements were restricted she was not able to locate the pain and when i tested we found that pain was in the upper arm she said her shoulder is free but we must remember that all the movements like flexion extension lateral rotation they are occurring on the shoulder not any other joint and you know it that the movements occur on the joint not at other place so if there is a if there is pain on moving a joint that means that joint is affected so when this patient was sent to the physiotherapist he also uh, was of the opinion that this is frozen shoulder friends what is frozen shoulder i will show you few diagrams here to make you aware of what is the frozen shoulder no uh, what is frozen shoulder and how do we look at it now look at this diagram this is a this shoulder look at this this is this doesn't happen all, all red does it doesn't become all red but this is the patient complaining of pain here in this region this is a case of frozen shoulder 
see another diagram to understand the shoulder joint this is this is the upper arm bone this is the bone of your upper arm and this is the the upper end of the bone this bone is called humerus but you if it is section no this is upper arm uh, bone and this bone is what is known as the collar bone medically it is called clavicle medically it is called clavicle and for layman it is the collar bone here it is a, a, a it is coming in the center right in the center of the your uh, chest and throat at the junction of chest and throat this is the or the upper part of the chest and then goes towards the arm and here it is, is coming in contact with the arm bone then this is third bone this is a big zigzag bone this is called this bone is called medically scapula and for layman it is called shoulder blade for layman it is called shoulder blade look here yeah, this this is a marked shoulder blade this is marked humerus this is upper arm bone and this is the these are two muscles which are shown these are uh, muscles of the forearm uh, we call them biceps muscles this is the capsule of the shoulder joint so shoulder joint is being formed by this bone which is the upper arm bone it is being formed by this bone here this is the portion and it is being covered by this bone so there are three bones and this is the uh, capsule in which they are enclosed inside the capsule and outside the bones there is a uh, thin membrane which is called synovial membrane and which contains some fluid for lubrication of the joint movements so understanding this is very important when this joint gets inflamed we call it that this is a frozen shoulder or this is a capsulitis this is a shoulder capsulitis now see an other diagram see this is a diagram this bone is the humerus or the upper arm bone this is a scapula this bone this bone is scapula and above there is a there is a collar bone this is the collar bone this is a collar bone and this this is a normal joint and here you see this capsule is inflamed this is the capsule this is the capsule this is capsule which is inflamed and here the capsule is here this capsule is not inflamed now again a similar situation you see this is a normal joint and this is a inflamed joint see this is capsules is thickened and inflamed this is now the uh, frozen shoulder or arthritis of the shoulder is a disease which affects uh, between the ages of 40 to 60 years usually we are taking usually but it can be later also usually it is 40 to 60 years of age in which it affects the females are affected more commonly in this disease females are affected more commonly and certain diseases make you more prone 
to develop the frozen shoulder for example diabetes if a patient has diabetes he is more likely to develop uh, frozen shoulder or periarthritis of the shoulder or capsulitis of the shoulder right if this uh, patient has uh, uh, does not use the arm shoulder joint due to some reason maybe some injury sprain or anything if it is immobilized again the chances of developing this capsulitis are uh, periarthritis of the shoulder are increased then uh, it is a common complication of uh, heart attack it used to be I, i would say it used to be common complication of heart attack usually occurring in the third or fourth week because of the immobilization of the patient to the bed it was the old time now you hardly see because the patient is immobilized he is uh, mobilized uh, quite early and therefore patient does not uh, patient start using the arm and therefore this condition has decreased so uh, what is most important what do you think what you have learned about the frozen shoulder or periarthritis of the shoulder is that it is a illness which occurs in uh, more common in females more common in diabetics and between the ages of 40 to 60 years it is uh, uh, commonly seen when the bo- uh, the shoulder joint is immobilized due to some reason some injury or some pain or uh, if it is immobilized for a longer time the person has the tendency to develop this condition so what do we do the treatment is simply physiotherapy you can use some analgesics and anti-inflammatories to begin with in in the beginning part the shoulder is freezing and there is a lot of pain and then it becomes frozen the pain becomes less and occurs only on when you try to move the shoulder and finally the pain and uh, condition disappears uh, it do some limited movements uh, uh, some restriction may remain but ultimately it will become all right but it may continue over 2 to 3 years before the person gets some relief but if you do physiotherapy you can become uh, uh, better quickly now one very important thing here i want to show is the uh, in this diagram these two diagrams you see this will help you a lot to understand this condition now see this diagram see this diagram now this is the affected arm and what he is to be done you see this arm is bent at the elbow and this is the hand and with this other hand he is pushing this hand towards this direction and this i will show you in the other diagram that where it is going you see this is he is pushing his own hand to the other to the outer side to the outer side see this this is he is pushing see it's the first diagram again this is the hand is in front and with his fingers he is now pushing it like this going the hand will go on at this that place so it has gone from here like this and uh, something see this hand has gone here now it was here it has gone here it has pushed now if this cannot be done if this movement cannot be done uh, this movement causes pain this is a diagnostic test for frozen shoulder so i will show you here see my arm see my arm here i try to do it like this from here i do it like this this is a lateral rotation outward rotation and if this is this cannot be done you got frozen shoulder see the hand is bent at elbow and i push it i push it this this the outwards i can do it you see my both hands they move like this The, this movement is actually occurring on the shoulders see but here in frozen shoulder the affected arm it cannot be moved like this it will cause excru- ex- excruciating pain then you can also raise the hand like this this 
this is called abduction this is called flexion so the heart the hand is going in the front is a flexion this also the patient cannot do but what you can do is there are certain things in the beginning what you can do is you can put your hand on the wall like this like i am putting on the computer like finger and try to crawl up the wall give it here try to climb up the wall like this or if i can make it more clearly you see i keep my hand on the wall like this and try to climb up like this see this is the type of movement you can do in the beginning or you can do pendulum movements how do we do pendulum movement you take the spot of a chair and let your hand hang like this and let it move like this like the pendulum of a watch if the pain is severe in the beginning you do this movement and do of course this has to be done with physiotherapy some fomentation to the shoulder and you move your hand like this but if you can move do some movements and you can afford then you can rotate your arm like this make it 360 degree angle rotation like this and within a week your arm becomes normal usually what happens is when you go to the doctor it is in the acute phase and at slightest movement causes excruciating pain to the patient and patient uh, stops doing the so that is why we send it to the physiotherapist and physiotherapist give you all sort of radiations the aim is to give deep uh, heat in uh, to relax the capsule and once the capsule is relaxed the adhesions which have been created they become less and the movement becomes free so friends i have today told you a condition which can affect a normal person with whose uh, shoulder joint has been immobilized it can occur in a person with diabetes mellitus it can occur after the heart attack because the patient is immobilized and it can occur more commonly in female and between the ages of 60 to 70 years and the answer lies in the physiotherapy thank you very much friends we will continue next time with another topic you please continue with your support by subscribing the channel and uh commenting on the videos on the youtube please remember your comment uh, is very important to me but if if given on the youtube if give it on the messenger or whatsapp it has it has it is just wasting your time and my time also and uh, then uh, some people do complain that i do not uh chat with them sorry i apologize very very sincerely because the time doesn't permit me i am also a human being like you and uh, i am doing this as a part of my social obligation if i have to make these videos if i have to write blogs on the facebook if i have to give you some suggestions then i have to also look after my family and spend time with my family also so please excuse me if i do not chat with you people uh, and do not expect me for chatting but it is a purely a professional relationship between doc doctor and the people who want to know about medical science i will request also uh, to all the friends that send me friendly request only if you are interested in medical uh, knowledge if you are not interested many people have said that they are not interested in medical if you are not interested please do not send me it is written clearly on my profile that i am a doctor consultant and qualified experience and now 79 years of age with your blessings uh, i will not be chatting with anybody and do not expect me from that and excuse me and don't please don't mind thank you very much we'll meet next time with an other interesting case